Does network marketing still work? What do you think? Does network marketing still work? Is it still a viable business model? In this article, I will answer that from my perspective first, a little history. I was introduced to network marketing, also known as MLM or multilevel marketing, quite a few years ago when a close friend approached us about the oldest and most well known company around. As I listened to the presentation, I began to get excited, then angry, then amazed, I was excited by the multiplication principle. I was already very familiar with that biblical principle as a result of the training and ministry experience I had had with a campus organization called the Navigators. Multiplication is basic discipleship and it works I had seen it firsthand then I was angry because I was just now hearing about this business model. Why had no one told me before? Where in the world was I when others were finding out about this, then I was amazed. What amazed me? the fact that everyone wasn't doing this kind of business. I could see immediately that this was the most equitable and most logical way for doing business that was ever created. It was a business model that rewarded people for exactly the amount of work they put into it. I was absolutely blown away and ready to jump in with both feet fast forward to today. The question is, does network marketing still work today? In spite of all the bad press and scrupulous people who have come up with companies and products that were nothing short of scams, I would have to say that network marketing is still very much alive and well. To be successful in it, there are several things that are important to think about first. Does the company have a unique product? Or can someone go down to their local store and buy the same thing much cheaper? If the product isn't unique, keep looking. There are plenty of companies that offer life-changing products with research to back those products up. Is the compensation plan one that enables you to earn enough money to make it worth your while? The basic concept behind marketing using this model is that the company is willing to pay its representatives, you, to advertise and promote the product or products to your network. Instead of paying for big advertising campaigns, they pay you. But there are a huge number of compensation models, and not all are equal. So be careful. If the average person with limited or no marketing skills can begin earning money easily and quickly, then go with it. If you need more than one or two people in your network in order to start earning money, keep looking. Do you like the person who is your sponsor? And are you absolutely sure they have your best interests in mind? If not, keep looking. Is there a huge auto shipment requirement each month? Would you pay that for the product even if you weren't making any money? If it's too high, it will be hard to convince others to join you. Look for something else that is within your budget and the budget of the average person. They are out there. Consider where the company is in its growth cycle. Ideally, it should have been around for a year or two and be ready to go into momentum growth. That's not a hard and fast requirement, but is something to consider. It's still possible to earn with a company that's been around for a long time because of the brand recognition, but isn't as easy as riding the wave of momentum if you happen to find a company that's right at that momentum stage. With all of this said, I believe that network marketing is an even more viable business model than it used to be, especially in today's economy. Computers have improved both the business model itself and the ability to advertise and influence those beyond your immediate family and friends. And that's a good thing, when all is said and done, network marketing is still able to produce more wealth for those willing to do the work than just about anything else. And it's something you can break into with an investment of less than $1,000, often much less than that, but the cherry on the icing is the residual income that can free your time to pursue other goals. Residual income. That's a topic for another article.